Hello everybody, today we're going to be making homemade cheesy fish cakes Ooh. in our air fryer. Sounds nice. Right, in today's recipe then, we're going to be using haddock as our fish. You can use salmon, I suppose, as well, Sharon, couldn't you? Pollock, pasta, any Pollocks. fish. Pollock. 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 We're using haddock. You can even use cod as well, Sharon, I suppose, can't you? Do what we do. Get any fish that's reduced. Yeah, this was just an old reduced one. that We bought it, and it's very expensive, isn't it? How much yeah. was that originally? £7.61. £7.61 originally. But I've lately been thinking about this the other night. If you went to the chip shop and bought fish, You'd pay more than that for one piece of fish, wouldn't you? I suppose. So. Yeah, but they, you're cooking it and they've got the premises to look after. Well, yeah. Anyway, so. so let's have a look at the ingredients first, folks. Here are the ingredients to our air fryer fish cakes. Two haddock fillets, six small to medium potatoes, 150 grams of grated cheese of your choice, one egg, a bowl of flour, some breadcrumbs, salt and pepper to taste. Right, so we've just defrosted this. We did have this in the fridge, Sharon, didn't we? Freezer. In the freezer, sorry. Yeah. So we've had it for a while. It is haddock. It's got a couple of fillets there. And uh, how much is on? How much is there? Four eight five grams. Four hundred eighty five grams. We're going to be using a kasuri today, folks. And we've also put a little crisper tray cover in there. Right, you see, it's all been skinned as well. Yeah, it's, it's boned and skinned. This one. So we're just going to lay these in our uh, air fryer. Nice big basket. This has got, so you can spread them about, about a bit. Okay. So we'll plonk that in there. Season them a little bit, a bit of seasoning on Go them. Go on in, baby, I'll let you do that. Well, let me wash my hands because I stink. Go on in, you do smell fishy, Sharon. I do. <laughs> so we're just going to season with some black pepper on top and also some uh, Himalayan pink salt there. And we'll put this on for how long, Sharon? We're going to do 180 for eight minutes. All right, so let's turn it on. We'll go 180 degrees and we're going to do it for how long? Eight minutes. So we drop that down to eight minutes. Now, we're not going to bother preheat this, we're just going to do it straight from there. So let's press the play button. And as we all know, fish can be a little bit smelly at times. So if afterwards your air fryer does smell fishy afterwards, all you've got to do is get some fresh lemon, chair on it? Cut it up, put some soapy water in the bottom, drop your lemon in, and then run it for about eight to 10 minutes, and hopefully that should get rid of the odor. What are we doing now, baby? We're going to mash our mash. Right, Sharon's already boiled the potato, yeah, so we, strain them. we're just going to strain them now and then we'll uh, mash them up. Right, so we've drained our potatoes, folks, and all we're going to do basically is just give them a good mash up. Now, we're not going to add any um, liquid to that because we want to keep the mashed potato quite solid still, but you are going to season them, Sharon. Yeah. So, in with some salt and pepper. And don't forget, folks, we always say this, put plenty in because a lot of people don't put enough in. They just have a token twist and then that's it. And all we're going to do then, after we give these a mash up, is to incorporate our grated cheese, which Sharon's actually got here as well. And that is a mature, extra mature cheddar, Sharon, isn't it? Vintage mature, this one. Oh, vintage. Yeah. And then literally just combine all that together and that will give us a lovely cheesy mash, Sharon. Yes. And the mash is going to be the basis as well as the haddock for our fish cakes to be able to make you mold them into a, a patty, Sharon. Yeah. Now, if you want, you can also put spring onions in there as well, can't oh, you? Oh, onion, anything you want. Yeah, we, we haven't got none, so we're not putting them in. We're just making basic ones, but... Um, also, little baby Frank's having these. Yeah, so we didn't two. want to put the spring onions in for that because yeah. our little uh, grandson's going to be having some of this as well. So it comes together really nicely there. And uh, that's ready now for the next stage after the fish is cooked. Right, there we go, folks. Let's just pull that out. And as you can see, our fish is nicely cooked. We're just going to lift it out, put it on the side there. And the reason being is when you lift it out with a paper, it's a lot easier to get the spatula underneath it there. So that's one of the beauty of having these liners, folks, that it could be a bit awkward digging in and trying to get it up. And as you can see there, flaking that fish there, it looks absolutely lovely and it's coming apart lovely. I'd say that's cooked to perfection. Yeah, that it? is cooked to perfection. So Sharon's just flaking it up. We'll do the same with this. And then we'll just transfer that over to the, uh, the mash mix. There we go. And all Sharon's going to do now is literally just incorporate that. Now don't forget, if you was having spring onions, you'd be putting your spring onions in there as well. So just mix it all together. Get it mixed thoroughly, folks. 
So like Sharon's doing there, you can either stir it in like this and you still will see some of the little chunks in there, or you can get your potato masher, yeah, Sharon, done. and mash it down as well. So uh, it's up to you how you want to do it, folks. And also, get rid of that, that stinks of fish, Sharon, doesn't it? <laughs> right, so that's nice and ready now. So we're now going to convert this into the patties and then uh, get them coated with the breadcrumbs and then get them in the air fryer. Right, so Sharon's just going to put a little bit of powder Flour. Flour rather, not powder. <laughs> it's not polyfiller, is it? Look, it looks like polyfiller. Just gonna put a bit of a uh, flour on her hands and now it's time to get down and dirty, folks, and get your hands in and make your patties as big as you want. We try to keep them to a reasonable size. This one is for Frank. Yeah, baby Frank. So she's just gonna mold it into a patty and then she's gonna take it and submerse it in the flour. Literally, just turn it over. Don't forget your aim here is to get it covered with flour and then just turn it all around the edges, get the edges done as well. And then with one hand, straight into your egg. So you just said them done, isn't it? Turn it over and then straight into your breadcrumbs and then turn it over in the breadcrumbs. Lay it into your tray there, our little uh, parts. Liners. Our little uh, liners there, yeah. So we're going to let Sharon carry on and do them, and then we'll come back to you. Yeah. Right, so it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six large ones out of this, folks. All we will say is, is that let your mixture chill off first. You can put your mixture in the fridge before you start making the patties. It'll make life so much easier. So let's just show you this last one. So again, we're just literally throwing the breadcrumbs over the top. We should have uh, made them a bit cooler, as I said to you, but uh, there you go. So we just slide it underneath them and literally just transfer that over to your grease proof sheet there like that. And they're now ready to go into the air fryer. But before we do that, what we're going to do, because they're breadcrumbs on the surface, we're just gonna take some olive oil and we're just gonna give them a, a blast on the surface, folks. And all that will do, it will enable them to crisp up and create a lovely sheen on the surface as well, rather than just drying the breadcrumbs out. So that's make sure you use a good quality olive oil. There we go. Take your drawer out, let's bring your drawer over there like that. And you can actually lift the liners in to your air fryer like that, without them breaking up. So as I say, as you're a little bit more fragile than what yours will be, you would have put yours into the fridge. So we put them in the air fryer. So we're going to put them on for 200 degrees centigrade for eight minutes each side. There we go, and press the play button. Right, they've just done, folks, on this side. We're going to turn them over now. So if we just take them out, as you can see there, they, they look sort of semi-done, but that's because these are uh, what they call showing natural breadcrumbs, aren't they? They're not, yeah. they're not the orange ones. So all we need to do now is to, to get them out and all I'm going to do is lift the liner out. This is where it's easier if you've got the liner. Just lift them out onto a flat surface like that. And we want to turn them over. So I'm just going to slide the fish slice over and just literally turn them over. And as you can see on the underside, they're not done or they're not coloured at all. We want them to colour, obviously. So we just turn them over. And I'm just going to give them a squirt with the oil as well. Make sure you get nice coverage, folks. Olive oil is very good for you, don't forget. And this just adds to the crisping up procedure, so that's why I'm doing this. All we do is just lift them back into the air fryer. There we go, and just pop them back on. So we're just gonna up the temperature, folks, to 200, and we're gonna do that for six minutes. There we go, and just start them off. There we go. So we'll come back to you when they're done. Okay, folks, we've pulled them out of the air fryer. We've got the other two, which we've got to cook. We'll do that off camera. Let's take a closer look at them. Right, Sharon, do you want to have a little taste? Of course I do. Now, don't forget, folks, you can have these with uh, anything, really, can't you? I'd like a nice sweet chilli um, dip with them. But in she goes. Oh, no, it's hot. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's too hot for us. It's too hot for her, folks. Go on in. Blow it, baby. Blow it. Oh, Sharon. Come on. Can you taste any cheese? 
It's so hot, folks. We, we should let it cool down, but she couldn't wait to get it in her gob. Come on, folks, let's fan her with an old slipper. Well, what was that like? Oh, that's one put out there. I'll get told off for that. It was really nice. You could really taste the fish and a bit of cheese, but the, I could, there's nice chunks of fish in there, which I like. Right, well, we didn't totally smash it to a pulp. That's what she totally said. Totally different from a chip shop. Right, well, let's have a little go. It is totally different, Sharon. You've got to be very careful how you take these out. If they're undercooked a little bit, folks, they will sort of fall apart. But as you can see, these you can handle quite easy, look. Because they're, they're, they're nice and browned off, let's put it that way. Right, can I go in, Sharon? Mm-hmm. I'm going to stab it. I'm going to take it in from the side. Oh, lovely. Help me out. Can you hold me out in case I fall over? Why are you going full metal jacket? I'm, oh, it's only I that. I can't. I can't, Sharon. I've got nothing else to go with it. Oh, hold on, Sharon. Oh, Sharon. You can really taste that haddock. Yeah, it's lovely. You know what would have been nice in there? A bit of salmon running through it and all. Tin salmon, you ain't got to buy the expensive stuff, folks. Oh, no, that's quite dear now, Sharon, isn't it? Mm. Wait there. It's not my fault. Let's turn it into something slightly different with some sriracha. You see it in my dinner. <laughs> Let's just hold on, Sharon. It's just, my dinner. I'll just put it on the side like that, look. Right, a little bit there. Let's just taste the corner. Okay. This will make, I'll tell you what, Shay, this is gonna make all the difference. Nah, I'm not the problem. Man, that's on you. Oh my good God. I got the fourth house there, Sharon. That's taking it to a whole different level, folks. It's like a Thai fish cake, Sharon. No, yeah. but surely that would be sweet chili. It's oriental, Sharon. No, wouldn't it if you had the sweet chili sauce with it? Yeah, that's what I said to you, but we haven't got any of that so I have. Well you didn't tell me that, did you? I'm sticking with a sriracha, folks. It's got a bit more bite to it. Oh, look, that's my dinner. <laughs> Lucky we cooked an extra two, folks. What are you getting at now? Oh, come on, hold on. Let's go in with this. Go on and put a little dub on there. Oh, look. Come on in. I want you to tell me, Sharon, if that's made the difference. Oh, look. Come on. But I had no problem with it like that. I know I'm you don't. I'm not saying that, Sharon, but it just I like. it takes it to a different level. Isn't it? You're far east now, aren't you? You're not west side, you're far east, aren't you? What about west side? West side. Yeah, east side, Sharon. Oh, well? That's really nice. It's made a difference, isn't it? Mm. So, lessons learned in cooking this, folks. We've done these for the first time in the air fry, so it's a new thing to us. First of all, when you make your mix of your mixture, let it cool down. Don't make them in the patties hot, otherwise they can fall apart. Put them in your fridge, leave them in there for an hour, and then come out and then mould your patties and you'll find them a whole lot easier to turn over. Second thing is, make sure you cook them well. Make sure you get some good colour on them and then turn them over because that's what gives them, as you say, the rigidity. Look, I can hold that and it's, it's not floppy, Sharon. We don't want floppy. We don't want floppy, folks. So that's what we found out out of doing this. And the third little thing, that Thai sweet chilli sauce or even a sriracha makes a fantastic addition. And anyway, I can't eat no more because it's Sharon's tea. Yeah, I've, got that so, I've got something else in the uh, the oven. So I've got something else. I'm going to leave her with the fish cakes and we'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, folks, do have a check out of our other videos. We've got loads of playlists and stuff. This is the first time for us in the air fryer and we actually love them. They're lovely. Anyway. Well, I can do that bit. So oh, love you. She's so good to me. I'm going to cover it with that show. Folks, I'm going in, Sharon. Last time. Last time, baby. So good. We'll see you next video, folks. And until then, bye bye. Bye for now. Oh, what? Can I just say we got 61% of our subscribers? Don't hit the subscribe button. No, they're not subscribers, then, are they? So come on, people. It doesn't cost you nothing. You mean 61% of viewers? Viewers, sorry, not subscribers. Yeah. There's all them people sitting there watching us. It's free. Come on, help us to build this channel. Please, folks. <laughs> bye for now. Bye-bye. Cool, you, you was on your knees there, Sharon. Well, sometimes you've got to, haven't you?